What's up, YouTube? It's Ben with Tone Base, and I'm here across the street from Carnegie Hall to have drinks with the legendary American pianist Gary Graff. This is Gary Grafman. Welcome to Happy Hour. Now, before we get started, I just want to have a quick Russian lesson. Yes. An American says vodka, vodka. Could you say it with a Russian? A vodka. Vodka. Yeah. How is that? That's good? Yeah, that's much vodka. better. Vodka, good. Yeah. How long have you been in the flavored vodka? business? Well, let's see, when I was five years old, uh, <laughs> I, not I, noticed, I noticed that my parents, like all Russians, put a little lemon peel in, in their vodka bottle. Mm. And they, they always did that. When I was older, not, not that much older, but you know, they let me just taste it, you know, or something. And, and there was this lemon taste, it was very nice. I got converted immediately. So it's important uh, to start practicing at a young age. Oh, absolutely, like absolutely. Much later, I said, well, uh, I started to do the same thing, and I did it scientifically. I'd use a potato peeler, and my mother told me to only use the yellow part of the lemon and as little of the white as possible. Mm. It had no juice. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, you save the juice for other mm -hmm. purposes. And um, the oil of a citrus fruit is in the yellow part mm. or the green part of a lime or the orange part of a mandarin. And if you leave, let's say, three maximum lemons, I, then, I, then I did it more scientifically and used, you know, in a normal sized bottle of vodka. And um, after three days, the lemon lost almost all of its lemon color. And uh, it, it, it became sort of very bland. Uh, you knew it was lemon, not lime, but not more than that. Mm. Then I, well, lemon, why not try it with lime? And why not try it with tangerine, with uh, mandarin, with uh, kumquat, for that matter. <laughs> yeah, I tried that once too. And then you uh, put it into an empty bottle and throw and throw away the um, the original one. Then I started little by little to expand my repertoire. And uh, I, what about what age was this? And now I'm in my twenties. Okay. My early twenties. Okay, so finally legal. Oh, oh totally Although legal. Although at the time it was. Yeah. The legal drinking age was... Yeah, well, I didn't, I, I, first of all, I didn't do it because I was still living with my parents. Mm -hmm. and my mother did it, you know, her way, mm -hmm. and it was only lemon. So what's on the menu for tonight? Lemon, lime, tangerine, pepper, ginger, horseradish, dill, that's seven, yeah. Okay, so shall we start with your original lemon? Yeah, okay. Right, let's try it. These are late 18th or early 19th century Japanese sake mm. cups, and there it, it's made. It's just perfect it's for perfect. vodka. Perfect for this. I'll give you a very small amount so you can try many flavors, unless you want a large amount of all the flavors. Well, <laughs> I mean, my my parents might be watching, so <laughs> a little bit at first. I need to save myself for horseradish. Well, I'll give you very little, Thank so you. that you try uh, many. Yes. May I join you? <laughs> yes, I, I'm going to wait for you to a lifetime of uh, yeah. of a vodka make. Mm. Thank you, New York, for <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> expressing yourself. <laughs> Delicious. Yeah. Mm. It's, almost, it's almost too easy to drink. You know, it goes you know down, what I mean? It goes down very easily. It, very easily, yes. Yeah. I, can see, I can see one getting a little carried away. Uh, yeah. By the way, each flavor um, I, I did, these are um, it's a special tree nut okay. that grows in certain parts of China. I see. Lime next? Lime, absolutely. And while you're grabbing the lime, I wanted to ask you about one of your first piano teachers, Isabella Vingareva. Because I have heard, and I won't name names, but some other tone based artists have horror stories of Il Isabella Vingareva. Yeah, yeah. I and, heard that. And, and in your book, you said, yes, she was very much feared, but I didn't fear her. She did once lift up a chair as if to throw it at me uh -huh. and slammed it down to the ground with such force 
that her leg broke off, and her cat, in panic, uh, um, Smokey, I remember <laughs> the name of the, of the cat, hid under a couch for two days without, before coming out again. What were you, what were you playing? <laughs> God knows. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is a little bit um, in the old days in, um, in, in Russia. Leopold Auer, my mm -hmm. father's teacher, would hit students over the head with a bow. No, over the head? Yeah, over the, yeah, with a bow. No, it's not a bat. Bows uh, are lightweight. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it doesn't. It can't really hurt you. Mm -hmm. In fact, it can only damage the bow. Right. But, yes. <laughs> now, Gungarova was friends with Horowitz, correct? Very close friends. And that's how you first got connected with, with, uh, with Horowitz. Horowitz. Yeah, exactly. First piano teachers. <laughs> Mm. What were her strengths as a teacher? What did sound, she... sound, sound. She hated an ugly sound. And she, she helped Prokofiev. Prokofiev was the same age as my father. So he was a student when she was already a young faculty person. Mm -hmm. When Prokofiev wrote his first piano concerto, some members of the faculty wanted to expel him practically for making fun of them. He mm. thought they were making... And she said, well, listen, he's young, but he's so talented. I mean, he, 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 he was a great supporter of his. But she didn't really know his music. Mm -hmm. Well, Prokofiev's re own recordings, it, it is not a percussive no. sound at all. I mean, it's, it can be velvety, it, it's warm, it's, it's even delicate. Um, not what we always associate with Prokofiev. Mm -hmm. Now, I grew up with what I consider one of the historic recordings of the Prokofiev Third Concerto, and, that, and that's your own with George Zell, George on, the, Zell. on the same disc as the first, in fact, the first yeah, and third. Yeah, right. From one very strict, authoritative teacher to another, um, Vingerova, now George Zell, what was it like working with him? Well, the first time I played with Zell was a result of winning the Levantrit yeah. competition, but I played with him then like every other year, mm. and I was his last soloist um, in Japan. I mm. went on tour with the Cleveland Orchestra. I was the first person to play the Prokofiev Third with him. Not when I recorded it, but five years before. Then I played uh, Beethoven Third. I remember I played, I played many mm -hmm. things with him, Brahms, D minor. So he phoned me at one point, said, well, look, since we're actually recording it this time, um, when you're flying back and forth to California, f months before we, we do it, anytime, um, why don't you stop in Cleveland and let's go over it. So I, I arrived, it was all planned. I went to Severance Hall, the auditorium. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there were two pianos on stage. And he played the second piano part by heart. He prepared for it as if he was recording uh, Beethoven Ninth Symphony. If he agreed to do something, he mm -hmm. did it. I mean, it's, it's, he was amazing. It must have been right. inspiring yeah. to Yeah, it's really, it was fantastic. The only time that I knew more than he did about something because he knew he read more American literature than mm. I had. Uh, was in Japan, uh, where I knew something about Japanese art. He'd never been to Asia, so I took him to the museums and to places, and, and I told him what things were. So your interest in Asian art and culture started early. I mean, it, early you, in, you turned um, to it in, in your fifties after the injury, but you um, yeah, you had always yeah, been interested. Always, in it. Yeah, no, I already had collected various things. Julius Katchen was responsible for that. He had a, 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 a trip to Asia before any, any of the, us, the, the rest of the OYAPs did, and, and got interested in it and brought back all sorts of pieces. Would, would yeah. it be incorrect to say that piano, vodka, and Asian art are your three life, lifelong passions? I'm thinking of the order. <laughs> Oh, I, I wasn't. I wasn't ranking them. I wasn't ranking them. Maybe we should move on to the next. That's what I was next about flavor. to propose. Well, I, since I we're finish this. since we're in citrus fruits, let's have the mandarin. Yes, well, let's stay with the citrus family. <laughs> 